Hello, and I hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, we're going to be learning about typecasting. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alex. I post a Java tutorial on this channel every single week, just like this one. So if you might be interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing. If you're like me and you like to learn in your spare time, then you should try Audible. We've got audio content like podcasts, audiobooks, and meditation. I've been using it for books like How to Build a Billion Dollar App and the Y Combinator startup series. Audible gives you access to thousands of titles, and it's something I personally use all the time. Visit audibletrial.com dot com slash Alex Lee to get started on your free trial and get a free audiobook that could be one of the ones I just mentioned. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. Let's start learning about typecasting by making a new Java project together. We're going to call this not my type because it's a pun and I like puns, even though it doesn't make sense completely. Make a new class where we're going to code and call it types. Do the main method and then hit finish. Type casting, what does that mean? Sometimes you have variables like integers. We have an integer a that's equal to zero, say for example. This works fine because a is an integer and zero is an integer. If you did a decimal, say 0.5, it wouldn't work. And the reason, if we hover over it, it says, type mismatch. Can't convert from double to int. Since 0.5 is not an integer, it makes sense that we can't store a non-integer into an integer. Let's make this an integer again. Type casting lets you take a number from one type and store it into a different type. So say we had 0.5 again and it doesn't work. We can turn this 0.5 into an integer so that we can store it. And to do that, you put some parentheses you can have a space here or no space here, it doesn't matter. And inside, you put the name of the type that you want it to be. So we want this 0.5 to be an integer so it can be stored into A. So we just type int. This takes 0.5, converts it to an integer, and then stores that into A. If we print this out, and we print out A now, what we'll see is that it prints out zero. To turn a decimal into an integer, Java doesn't know how to round it. It doesn't know what you mean. Do you want to round it up or down? You're going to have to do one because it has to be an integer. It can't be in the middle. And Java defaults to down. So it'll always round down. If this was 2.5, it would round down to 2. This is useful to get your variables to match. There are several different types of primitive variables. There's byte, short, char, int, long, float, and double. Byte is the smallest. We increase size every variable all the way up until double, which is the largest primitive variable type. Say we have the number 500. If we try to set byte a to 500, we can't because a byte can't handle that big of a number. But we could set an integer variable to 500 because it's big enough. Java will automatically cast up, but you have to manually cast down. So for example, if we have an integer here, say we'll call it x, for example, and we want to store a into it, it says a may not have been initialized, which is right. We don't have anything stored into a yet. But let's say a is 1. 1 is a good number that will fit into a byte variable. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's in the range. Since we have a byte here, byte on this side, and int on this side, Java automatically converts up. In this case, up means down this list. So a is a byte, but we want to store it into an int. Since we're going up the size, it automatically converts it. If this was a double, it would work the same way. If it was a float, it would work the same way because it's going up in size. So now let's try an integer to a double. So now say we have an integer that's equal to a double. If we set the double g equal to say 500.1, it won't automatically cast because we're not going up in size. We're actually going down in size. We're turning a big variable double into a smaller variable int. So to change this double into an int, all we do is like before, type the name of the variable you want, and this will cast that g into an int. If however, the roles were reversed, 
and this was a double, double x equals, and then say the integer is 500. Set that equal to D. Since int is smaller, and we go up in size to store it into a double, it automatically casts it. So that's type casting in a nutshell. I hope this makes a little more sense. I know I never really grasped this when I was going through college. I hope I cleared that up for you, made your life a little easier. Thank you for letting me teach you, and I'll see you in the next video.